universe is a vast ocean of darkness, sprinkled with islands of light. For thousands of years, humanity has stared at those distant stars and asked a question so bold, so impossible, that even today it carries the weight of mystery. Can we ever go faster than light? The question itself seems almost forbidden, like touching a cosmic boundary we weren't meant to cross. Everything we know, everything Einstein taught us, whispers the same warning. Nothing with mass can exceed the speed of light. Yet the deeper we look into the universe, the more it teases us with hints that maybe, just maybe, the cosmic speed limit isn't as absolute as we once believed. The story begins not in a laboratory, not in a spacecraft, but in the quiet space between questions and the unknown. Imagine standing alone in a desert at night, looking up at a sky so endlessly deep that you feel yourself fall into it. Those stars you see are not where they appear to be. They shine from the past, sending photons that travel across millions of light years just to reach your eyes. Light carries the story of the universe, and for over a century, we believed that nothing could outrun that story. But what if there are secrets, hidden behind the fabric of space-time itself, waiting to be uncovered? Scientists once thought faster-than-light travel belonged only to dreams, to myths, to fiction. But something changed. As we observed the universe with new eyes, using telescopes that could peer deeper than ever before, we noticed something strange. Galaxies, moving away from us faster than the speed of light. Entire cosmic structures racing outward, not bound by the very law that defines the speed of the universe. If galaxies could break this law, then what did that mean? Was faster than light travel real? Or was the universe simply playing tricks with the rules? To understand the truth, we must first understand the problem. Light moves at 299,792 kilometers per second. Nothing in our everyday lives even comes close. A jet plane crawls by comparison. Even the fastest spacecraft humanity has ever built barely scratches a tiny fraction of 1% of light speed. And yet, light speed isn't just fast, it's fundamental. It's woven into the mathematics of reality. If you try to accelerate an object with mass toward light speed, something strange happens. It becomes heavier. The energy required grows infinitely, and at the speed of light itself, mass would become infinite. This is why, according to classical physics, nothing with mass can reach or exceed the speed of light. So why keep searching? Why keep asking the question if the answer seems impossible? The answer lies in a quiet revolution that began with a simple realization. Maybe the limit isn't the speed, but the method. Maybe the universe is telling us we're thinking about motion the wrong way. Maybe we don't need to move through space at all. What if space itself could move? Imagine a surfer on a wave. The surfer doesn't create the wave, they ride it. They're not moving faster than the water beneath them the wave is carrying them forward. In the same way, what if a spacecraft didn't need to accelerate through space, but instead rode a wave of space? What if the space behind a ship expanded, while the space in front contracted, pushing the ship forward without it actually moving inside its own bubble? This was the idea that shook the scientific world in 1994. A physicist named Miguel Alcubierre proposed something radical something that sounded like science fiction. The warp drive. Not the Hollywood version with glowing rings and humming starship engines, but a mathematical solution to Einstein's own equations. According to Alcubierre, space-time, the fabric of reality, could be bent, stretched, manipulated. Inside that bubble, a ship could sit motionless, feeling nothing. And yet, from the outside, it would move faster than light. It was like discovering that the cosmic speed limit applied only to cars on the road, not the road itself. The moment this idea appeared, the world reacted with disbelief and wonder. Could it really work? Could the universe truly allow such a loophole? The mathematics said yes, but there was one problem. To bend space-time that way, we would need an impossible ingredient. 
negative energy, also known as exotic matter, something that doesn't behave like anything we could hold or touch or create easily, something that could repel gravity instead of attracting it, something that could push the universe apart. It sounded impossible. And yet, the more we searched, the more hints we found that negative energy wasn't entirely fiction. Quantum physics, the strange world of particles that flicker in and out of existence, showed us a glimpse. In the vacuum of space, pairs of virtual particles constantly appear and vanish, borrowing energy from the universe itself. In some circumstances, this quantum dance can create negative energy, tiny, brief, fleeting, not nearly enough to power a warp drive. Yet it proved one thing. Negative energy is real. It exists. And if something exists, even in the smallest amounts, maybe one day it can be scaled, controlled, engineered. But the deeper we explore the quantum world, the stranger things become. Particles communicate instantly, faster than light, violating our everyday understanding of distance. This phenomenon, quantum entanglement, once called spooky action at a distance, suggests there are parts of the universe that don't follow the rules we thought were unbreakable. Information doesn't travel through space. It simply appears somewhere else, as if distance itself stops mattering. Could this be a clue? A whisper from the universe that faster than light effects are possible, not by breaking the rules, but by discovering new ones. Then, there are tachyons, hypothetical particles that always travel faster than light. They've never been observed, but their existence would reshape the universe. If tachyons are real, they could move backward in time, sending information to the past. Physicists once dismissed them as mathematical curiosities, but new theories in quantum field research keep drawing them back into the discussion. Do they exist? If they do, why can't we catch them? Or maybe, are they hints of dimensions we cannot yet perceive? And speaking of dimensions, theories like string theory and M-theory suggest that our universe is not limited to the three spatial dimensions we see. There may be hidden dimensions folded tightly like microscopic origami. If these dimensions exist, they may hold shortcuts, tunnels through space-time known as wormholes, a wormhole is the ultimate cosmic cheat code, a bridge connecting two distant points in space instantly, not by traveling faster than light, but by removing the distance. Einstein's equations allow wormholes. Nature has yet to reveal one, but the universe does show us something else, something vast, dark energy, a mysterious force causing the universe to expand faster and faster, as if some invisible hand were pushing galaxies apart. This discovery shocked astronomers. The universe wasn't slowing down. It was accelerating. That means space itself can expand faster than light, pulling galaxies with it. And if space can expand faster than light, then the concept of impossible suddenly becomes less certain. There's another piece of the puzzle. Inflation. Moments after the Big Bang, the universe expanded so rapidly that it outpaced light by an unimaginable factor. The entire cosmos, in a fraction of a second, became billions of times larger, faster than light. Not by motion through space, but by space itself erupting outward. If the universe once did it, could we learn to control it? Imagine a future where spacecraft don't fly. They fold space around them. They ride cosmic waves. They slip through wormholes. They surf on quantum fields. They navigate dimensions hidden from view. They are no longer bound by the speed of light because they no longer move in the way we understand motion. But before we leap into fantasy, we must confront reality. Faster than light travel comes with paradoxes. If you can go faster than light, you can go back in time. Cause and effect could reverse. A message could arrive before it was sent. A traveler could reach a destination before they departed. This unravels the logic of the universe. So the question becomes, does the universe forbid faster than light travel to protect causality? 
or is our understanding of time itself incomplete? Some theories propose that warp bubbles and wormholes may not violate causality because the ship inside the bubble never exceeds light speed. The bubble does. But others argue that even this loophole may open doors to paradoxes. And yet, the universe doesn't give us clear answers. It simply waits, silent, distant, mysterious. The most surprising part is that humanity has already begun the first steps. NASA's EagleWorks Laboratory has explored warp field mathematics. Experiments like the M-Drive and other propulsion concepts challenge the way we think about forces and momentum. None of them have proven faster than light travel yet. But each experiment pushes the boundary a little further. Every discovery whispers the same message. Limits are not walls, they are checkpoints.